Hello everyone. This is Paula. Stuffed up nose. Sorry about that. I hope you can um, appreciate allergies. <laughs> or not appreciate allergies. They're driving me crazy. And they just make you exhausted. I'm not sick. It's just I'm... I feel exhausted, you know? So, today we are actually going to decorate a page in the Cheaply Chic Design Team Project Book, Traveler's Notebook, that I'm doing for uh, uh, Lynette over at Cheapy, Cheaply Chic. Blah, blah, blah. Can't get it out. Okay, so, um, we're going to do the first layout now. We finished, let's just do the one. Let's finish doing what we were working on, uh, which was this, we decoupaged, um, let me pull some of this stuff out of here. We decoupaged this um, little envelope. It's not really so little, but we did decoupage it to put into the book. And I chose this page because I just wanted it to be a standalone page. And then um, I can journal over here, see, and these colors kind of go together. So I just took this page and decided it's going to be the one. Now, the reason I had the pocket on the back, it's a snug fit, uh, but I decided I like that so it doesn't fall over and not show in the window. So I put this pocket on the inside, which is where the flap bends, the flap will bend in because I wanted to be able to take my tag and let it show through the windows, but I didn't want it slipping out the bottom of the, um, the envelope project. So you have to, I'm gonna have to kind of work it in here, or you can make one smaller. You don't have to make it as, there's no rule that says you, you know, have to do it this tight <laughs> or this crazy. I'm trying to find a good spot. There's a chicken and a rooster right there. Now, you can do whatever you need to do to decorate. Um, if you have any loose paper come up, just put a little bit of glue there like I'm doing. I had a couple little places. Um, and that's that happens with glue stick, and that's okay. Because the majority of it sticks down. You just add a little bit of I just added a little bit of glitter glue right there to keep it down. And I think that's the only loose spot on here. I've already fixed a few of them. See, so this way you can put your tag in here. And um, I'm trying to get it in the right spot. Okay, there we go. Now, um, I'm going to glue it. I'm going to flap, put the flap over on this side and make sure the bottom of your envelope is not sticking down like that. Okay, so just make sure it's up. It's okay to have something sticking out on the top portion, but I don't think it looks as good when you do it on the bottom. So I am actually going to use Fabri-Tac for this because I want to make sure it stays in. It's a little on the heavy side. And let me close up that. You know how it is. If you don't close up that glitter glue, it won't be pretty. <laughs> All right. So let me make sure I'm still in camera. I am. Okay. So the first thing I want to do is line it up here. And I know it's going to be straight because I've already kind of checked it and made sure. And I just want to get it where it needs to go. And then I'm going to clip this after I get it where I want it to be. Now, you don't have to worry about um, gluing anything closed because this is an open kind of envelope, right? Now, also, I'll probably have glue going everywhere because my paper just raised up a little bit. But you just clean that up the best you can. Of course, I didn't get my a um, little glue, a little adhesive remover out of my tote from my retreat. So I had lots of fun on my retreat. There was uh, two, four, six, and then we there was six in our group, and then we added on a couple more. 
that's going to be doing some crops with us or retreats with us as well that we met. And um, so that'd be nice. We like to include everybody that we can. So right in here is, you can see there's some glue on the other side. But see, this is how it will be. And then you flip it out and you journal under here. Now, you obviously can get glue where you attach it. So you wanna make sure there's nothing there. Let me get my adhesive remover. I'm sorry that I um, didn't have that. Just a second. I always forget to unpack something and today it is the um, adhesive remover. If you don't have one of these, man, you need to get one. You do have to work pretty quick, although Fabri-Tac does better if you don't do it right away when it's wet, wet. You wanna wait till it starts drying a little bit, not hard drying, sticky drying. See, it's still sticky and it will roll off a lot easier. That way, when I close my book, it won't stick to my pages. But I love the, the way this little pocket works. I wanna make some more. So this is my plan. You know, I haven't collaged a lot in a long time. There was a time we collaged all the time, right? So, I think I, um, get this going here. I think I want to do some collaging. And I think we'll just do some different projects and then collage them. You know what I'm saying? So, we'll just do a little bit of this and a little bit of that. And... It may be a variety in, in any one video, okay? So I don't have any certain plans, but I know that you can take your collaging and get a lot accomplished. Okay, so the glue's all gone, all right? Now, I think on this back side, we're on the back side, we need something to spice it up a little bit. I'm still fighting with what direction I want this to go. I want it to show my rooster and chicken, and it is. It's just it might not be perfectly straight in the process. We'll see. All right, so down here, I thought we would do Farm Sweet Farm. You know, the book is called Home Sweet Home. I'm going to add this little leftover piece of doily on this side too. And I just thought, you know, I don't want to throw that away. So we're gonna use it. And I'm trying not to get in any of the open spaces on this. You know how hard that is, right? And I'm just gonna put it at the bottom of my pocket, about like that. And I probably will trim this little bit off. Let me get it real quick. So it doesn't stick out. Okay. So there's that. Let me get those little edges so they don't stick out everywhere. Okay, and then I'm just gonna attach this. This was on the bottom of a journaling card and uh, I'm using the top on the other side. I'm just gonna bring it up a little bit so it's not so perfect. There we go. And we'll put some kind of tie in all of our tags eventually. You may not do them all at once. Okay, so now we're back to the front and I'm liking how this looks now. And so I think we'll do 
<laughs> this goat and pig and ducks or geese um, right here. But I'm thinking, do I want something behind it? Kind of like I did with this doily. I do have other doilies. Do I want to use them? Or I'm looking to see if there's something else in this big box that we might want to use. Uh, let me grab my doily here behind me. Now, I have quite a few doilies back here, different colors that I've gotten at random places, but I feel like this one would look better with some blue, but would it? I don't know. I think so, so let's do a little blue one. And then we'll finish it up somewhere else, right? Let me get one out of here. They just stick together so bad. You gotta make sure you only have one. You don't wanna waste them. Now this may be two, you just never know, right? No, I don't think it is. I think it's just one. These days, it's hard to tell on these. Things get thinner and thinner. <laughs> so, I want it to go here, but I do want my little, my little pocket thing to... So, I could do it like that. Okay, so, I want to see where I need to cut the doily off at. I'm just going to kind of crease it right there. It's the easiest way for me. And then just cut it. And then I'll have another little piece for something else. Now, I don't ink my doilies anymore. I just decided that's just crazy. And I'm going to try to center it. And then I'll cut off the edges. Okay, here we go. Okay, here we get all these big areas that we know won't bleed through because that's really what we need, right? And some of the top ones here so they stay down. Okay, stick it on the pocket like we did the other one, only it's a little taller. Okay. Okay, now let's trim this. I think this turned out fun. I'm excited about it. I'll be making more of these for my journals. And I have this little yellow number. It's kind of a claim check. And you can write on the back. I'm going to put that in that pocket right there. And I'm going to take my little animals and put them down here. They're looking up here going, hmm, what's that rooster doing in that window? Ha <laughs> ha. Um, you know they talk back and forth, right? And they gossip just like anybody. Not really. They do on Babe, the Walt Disney movie. Babe, if you haven't seen it or your kids haven't seen it, it's a must-see. Okay, here is how this turned out. And I like that. I do like it. I like the way that turned out. It's different and colorful. And, yeah, I love it. So... We'll put ties on everything when we're done, but right now I don't want them to be in the way. So there we go, and there we go. So let's go to the beginning, like where we normally start, 
because normally we will do a um, a library pocket in the front, right? So I thought that's what we would attempt. I've got so much stuff on my desk. I know you hear that from me a lot, but it's true. So the first thing I wanna do, I went ahead and inked everything to save a little bit of time for everyone. And I'm gonna put this library pocket on right here. And it does have adhesive on it already, but I like to add a little bit more because you know, these kind of things don't stick forever. And I just want it to stay together. Now, here we go. We're gonna put it down center on the orange checkered paper. It's more orange than it is red. Just so you know, if you're looking in the camera and you can't figure it out, it's more on the orange side, but you could slip some red checks in here because, you know, if you had a picnic out on the farm, you would have possibly a, a tablecloth. Okay, so what I, I had this chicken fabric. This is material. I'm not gonna stitch it because I have pink in my sewing machine right now. And it's just not worth that much to do that. So I'm just gonna put around my library pocket, I am going to put a little bit of Fabri-Tac. I don't wanna go crazy because it won't, uh, it'll bleed through if I do. So there we go. I just think these little chicks are precious. And I saw that fabric and I said, someday I'll find something to use that for. So I bought a little bit. Do you guys do that? Although I do have a hard time remembering to use fabric just in a casual way like this. But I like to fray the ends and have it look like it's had the ends frayed. Okay, so we're not gonna do much to the library uh, card. I just inked it. We're gonna slip it in like this. But um, what did, I think that's all that I really wanted to do to that, except I had these little flags I thought about using here on the top, like maybe just in a corner or something, or maybe just like this. I think that's what we'll do. Let me get my let me get my tiny attacher out. I gotta move this. I've lost one of them. It's a good thing I don't need the third one, right? Oh, there it is. I just wanted some that are kind of straight. These are kind of not straight. Let's see if any of them have little chicks. There's a rooster. This got a baby chick. So we don't have to do orange. Yeah, that's she did it by those, I think. And I am gonna hit them with a little bit of ink so they stand out on the thing here. Okay, now, where is my tiny attacher? There it is. Now, we're gonna pull out this and we're going to decide um, which one we want to use. I think I want to use this one and the baby chick one. Although they are the same, I'm going to separate them. Normally, I would not use these lined up evenly beside each other, okay? Just so you know. But on this situation, I like it. We could put this one up and down on this side instead of on the other side, even though the checks are not lined up. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do that. And we'll just put a tiny space between all of them. I put a library pocket in nearly every book 
because I think it's a good place to put your name and stuff. Okay, so there we go. We've got those in there. We've got that extra texture. So we have two extra textures on this side, which I think always helps. Over here, I took a file card and cut it down, and it happens to have the, the letter C, which to me is chicken. Chicken, chicken. So I'm gonna put this all the way to the right so it stays down the best that we can get it to. As you know, everything curves and I don't want it to, I just bent it, but it's not gonna matter in this situation. So I'm going to go down. Okay. Whoops, you've got to put it, you gotta line it up. I'm like popping it off its space. Line it up where you want it, and remember, you don't want your tag to be too wide that it doesn't fit in here. So if we have to cut our tag a little bit, that's okay too. Let me get a big clip. Although I don't see any in my drawer. You know, I just misplace them all the time. It's like they end up in my, <laughs> from one place to the next. Yeah, I'm knocking everything over. That's what you're hearing. Well, we'll just do these clips, but they won't go up on the page. That's the downside to them. So I'm gonna do it like this. Get it all clipped here nice where it's not going anywhere. This heavy um, index cards like this are, uh, they're actually, uh, well, they are index cards, but um, I don't know what I thought they were if they weren't in it. <laughs> Just silly me, silly me, silly me. Now, I think once we get them on these two sides, that it will hold it down pretty good and we can leave it and come back to it when we're done. Letting it dry for a second. So, I will tell you. So my idea on this is to turn it and let it lay flat for a little bit while we work on another one, which I think will be good. And I think I'm going to do it right here so that I can clip it. And hopefully it will keep that side down. All right, so now let's go over to another page and come back and finish this when we're done there. I think that would be lots, lots better. Okay, so we got this all done. And it's still not sticking to anything because it's really nice and clean. So let's go to this middle one. I kind of like that we have this middle one here and we've got an envelope and a craft a craft uh, sack and a yellow envelope. And I just have put everything in the world in these bags that go with it to make sure there's nothing in here. So I have this craft bag. I can't remember exactly what my plan was but I do remember that I thought I would, I'm just dumping stuff out. Ooh, I forgot to ink the inside here. Oh, 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 what was I doing? What was I thinking? I was thinking that I had it all done, what I was thinking. Um, I'm gonna glue those loose flaps down also so that it doesn't look right on the inside and inked up on the outside. 
So let's get these little flaps glued down with some glitter glue. I like to use it because it gets into small spaces nicely. And it's strong. So you can always count on it to be strong. Okay, I'm going to put the lid back on it. And now we're off to get busy on this. Okay, so let's do the bag first. And then we'll do the envelope. So the bag's going to go on the left side. And let's see, that goes with that. This goes here. So we're going to put this yellow polka dotted uh, doily on the front here. And then this red check hen right here. I just think that is adorable. So let's do that first. And then we'll, we'll move on to the other. So let's get this down. Where'd my glue go? There it is. Laying in the pile of something. I don't know what it's doing, but now I've got glue all over my hands because I felt like I needed to touch the tip. I thought it was dry. What can I say? Okay, so I'm just going to, every doily's different, so you never know what's what space you're going to have on a doily. All right, and I'm just going to put it right there. There's no reason that I put it in that spot, except I just wanted it on the front. And I'm not going to worry about anything that flips up, unless it becomes a problem. And if it does, then I'll cut it off. All right, so there's that. And now we want to put our little chick or not a chick, our little hen on here. I've been wanting to do a chicken book. I think I told you guys that in the last video. I just think they're awesome. Okay. Let's see. My husband went to Springfield to try and find a, you know you are now in the woods where all the trees are when you have to start burning branches and leaves. <laughs> oh my word, I hope he doesn't catch anything on fire. He's a city slicker, but we've been doing good as a, uh, <laughs> as a country lake animal. <laughs> My husband was driving um, or standing out in the yard and he saw a deer. No, he was driving his car with my brother-in-law and he saw a deer on the side of the road that just walked, trotted right across the road. So, of course, he stopped and then here comes another one. Here comes another one. And then it got, there was eight that crossed the road in front of his car while he sat there. And then it got to number nine, and he just stood there and looked like, you guys are crazy. I'm not cutting out in front of him. And um, he didn't either. He just turned and went the other way. He's like, I'm, I'm not in on this party. Um, but it was so cute, you know, that he thought he was the smarter of the group. I guess it depends on what you're, you're going after. Okay, so this is going to go right here. And let's see. And I'm thinking that maybe I will clip this sales price on here with my stapler. Isn't that cute? That red and... Um, the red and orangey red. Okay. We might have to write 50 cents or something on there. I think he was worth 50 cents. So, Lynette stamps on your one of your tags in your kit that comes along 
with your traveler's notebook. Now they sell two extra types of kits. Also, one for $7.50 that has, I believe, 15 pieces in it, and one for uh, $15 that has 30 pieces. Well, this time, because I've been excited about the chicken thing, I bought both of those extra ones. Plus, I got the one that goes with the kit. So, I've got a couple duplicates, but pretty much everything's different. But I did get a tag like this in every kit that I bought, and they were all three different. So, that was fun. And I had a little bit of this leftover um, chicken fabric, and I just thought I'd put it on here and uh, just kind of make it a little wonky and then use my stapler to staple it down as well. And then you have your top, and she stamped these, and they're really cute. I might have to go back and color them in. <laughs> and they're going to go inside here. Now, I'm not going to make another pocket behind the bag, but you could. You could very easily do that. And um, so that's something for you to think about. You could do that. And I'm just putting, you know, more around the edges and kind of splattering some everywhere else like that. Okay. And we shouldn't have any problems keeping it down. I'm always, I always try to pull it to the left so that the binding isn't so overstuffed. So you want to get that all down nice and easy. Just stick it down on the edges for sure. And I'm going to take a few clips because I like them and they work fabulous and clip the outside down like we did the last one. Maybe not so many. Just a few. Let me get in here where you can see what I'm doing. Um, I don't always try to do matchy-matchy in my journals that I make for others. Unless I think it's necessary. But I wanted this one all red orange, yellow, browns, I just thought, and blacks, it's so cute that it needed that. Now, on this side, we were going to do the envelope, remember? And so, in the kit, I got this recipe with this chicken on the front. You remember those bowls? So, he, this is going to be my journaling card. So, I get to pull that out and journal on it at some point. But now, I want to decorate the front of this. So, I'm thinking I for sure want to put this here. Um, but, what else do I want to put there? I mean, I could do it like that. Or, I have this really cool barn which I thought might look cool in here, too. Because it's called, um, if I can get my stamp, my, uh, let me get it out. Can't get my tag out. I hope I didn't glue it in. There it goes. Um, farm to table. And that says farm to table. So I'm thinking, ah, oh, well, that's awesome. So, maybe I need to um, do the same sort of thing. I really love these colors together. And instead of um, doing it any other way, I thought, well, I could do it kind of slanting each other, you know. And I really wanted to put down... Um, some tickets also. You don't normally have to have tickets to breakfast. <laughs> but I love that I have these yellow and red tickets. I think I would want the red underneath. 
This also says table to sole. So I'm thinking, you know, if I bring this up a little bit, you can still see, and I could still put the tickets on here. It is busy. You're absolutely right. If that's what you're thinking, it is busy. Let's get this stuff glued down first. But I don't care. I want it to look, you know, when you go to a house that's a farmhouse in the olden days, not today's modern farmhouses, which is what I have. Um, I call it a farmhouse on the inside. The outside is colonial. <laughs> anyway, um, let's see. Putting that up as, about as high as I can there. Now, I know I want to throw a little ink on this little card. I just love this card. Okay. We got like four different kinds of cards with the kit this time. Well, I did because I bought all the kits. We got um, the little chicken that was next to the library pocket in the actual kit. This was in the extras. She didn't have as many of these. But I like them. And so I'm going to staple these little kits, these little tickets on right at the end. Or do I want to do them right here? Oh, I think I like that. But the problem is is I don't think I can get up in there to staple it. Let's just see. So if I work my way up through here, can I bend it a little bit? I don't know what problem that would be. Let's just see. If I can bend it up in there and then straighten it out, it will work. Okay, got to get my hands all working around all these levels of paper. Okay, go in there. It's going to bend. That's okay. Okay. Awesome. There we go. We just fold it back over, and it's going to be fine. Now, like I said, I don't want it to be perfect. Um, but I wanted to also add this little baby chick. This little baby chick on here, I just think... It's cute as can be. And he'll look, he would look cute stapled. But to do him that way, we would have to staple ahead of time, just like that, fake staple, and then glue him on. Because if we stapled him, we'd staple through our envelope, right? We don't want to do that. Okay. There we go. Isn't that cute? Didn't it turn out adorable? I think it did. And we're going to clip it over just like that when, as we go through. And I'm going to undo these clips because it should be in the book now without any problem. Put our tag back. And let me get a clip. Now we have different color clips. I have an orange. I have a, I'm looking here, blue. We don't want orange or red probably is what we need, right? Okay, that's pink. Let's do multicolors. Let's do orange because I just think that's going to look really sweet on there. Yeah, just like that. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm happy with that. So, real quick, like we're going to flip back to the last page we were working on that we were having trouble with. But on here, what do we want to sell our chicken for? I say, uh, how about 35 cents? I think he looks like a 35 cent chicken. Don't you? You want to use the Sharpie on those kind of tags because they're slick. 
Okay, so let's go back over here and see what we got going on. Take all of the clips off. All right, let's see how it stayed. And it did. It's still kind of sticking up right there, but I think it, it's actually glued down. It's just the edge. So we want to put our, on this one, I want to put the doily like this. And, I, and I'm going to show you the chickens that go into the kit on this, on this video or on this page. I'll get it right in a minute, guys. What can I say? All right. Little bit on the tops. We'll probably have to cut some of it off on the sides. Or maybe not. You just never know. Depends on how it all goes. So I think even though this is a peachy orange doily, I think it works with the orange pretty well. And now this is the chicken and the rooster that goes on this uh, index card. It's a white Cornish hen and a red Cornish rooster. Now I'm just gluing this all the way down. It's basically just for decorations. And in that, what most of it's all about is decorating. Okay, so we want this in the front. How cute, right? I just think that's adorable. This was the other one I liked a lot that I that I got in the main kit, and I just thought it was really cute. Once in a while, I buy extra items because I want to overload my journal. And here is the chicken and duck and hay and butterflies and veggie. And will barrel right there. And there's some shovels down here. I just think this is a really cute material. I did it around the corners with a design now. I'm just gonna put this in to show you, but I'm gonna take it out till I know everything's really dry. Now, I will put some kind of orange topper on it, but I just love the way he turned out, don't you? What do you think? Let me know in the comments. I think he was super cute, and I'm looking here to see if there's anything else I missed that I might wanna use. Nope, not right now. I had this and I thought about putting it up here, but I do like it. And I also like this can of poultry seasoning. Now see, that makes me rethink things because now I think we need to ink them up and let them dangle from the top. What do you think? Okay, so this is how I would do it. Since the poultry portion is on the right lower, I would do it probably like that. There, you've got your chicken just telling it off. So, let's, I think I'm gonna staple. And that is all good and fair. Okay, here we go. And I'm gonna let that stick up a little, it doesn't matter. There we go. I might wanna put a dab of glue under this portion just to keep it from flipping over when you close your book, you know? And um, don't have to worry about that happening. Yeah, there we go. All 
All right, gotta get a drink. Page number two, page layout two, I guess I should say, which I love. Okay, and then here, of course, is our second page. Really our first, and then this other one is our, um, I'm going to cut this off. It's wanting to stick to other stuff. Um, this is the first layout is how I had it planned. And, um, that's stuck down. All right, there we go. Um, so layout number one, layout number two, because it got finished before the other one. And layout number three. Let me see what time it is. We have 10 more minutes, so we'll start working on the next one. We'll do one more quickly. Now, I went through a big decoupage day and I didn't get you guys involved because I you have seen me decoupage so many times. But I did it with these little roosters. Aren't they cute? They have little leopard skins. Oh, there's some buttons in there. Got to get those out. Okay. And uh, anyway, so this little bag is going to go over here, I'm thinking. And it has this little tag. Well, pretty simple, right? Now, over here, we're going to take this bingo card that came in the kit, and we're going to glue around the outsides. Try to do a small a line you, as you can. And then we're going to put this in here. But first, we're going to add him to the top. And so we'll do that now. Get him drying a little bit. I just thought he was wild looking and went well with these other wild looking roosters. Just saying. Can't have a can't have a farm without chickens and roosters, right? Or hens. Now I put it as far up as I can because I want it to kind of stick out of the pocket. But I want it to be nice and straight too. So this one will not have a topper. So there we go. So let's put the bingo pocket in next. Well, so much for getting it straight, right? Going everywhere. You do have to make sure with heavier things like this that you've got the right amount of glue. You don't want it to come off. This will have to be clipped down because it's heavier. And that's my opinion of that. Okay, and I'm going to put it in as much as I can. And just to the edge. It's just going to fit. Whoops, there we went. We moved it. And you know what that means. Wider angles of glue. Ha, uh, ha, ha. Just what I like to do. <clears throat> Okay. All right. So at my retreat, we had these ladies. I'll continue real quick. And I'll probably continue in the next video some more things. Um, so everybody was working on something different. I was working on an album for all my grandsons. And I'll... I'll, if we have time, I'll show you a little bit. If not, I'll try to remember to do it in the next video. But it's uh, it was designed by Button Farm, which is a company out of Tahlequah, Oklahoma. If you haven't used them, you need to check them out. Just type in buttonfarm.com. And the lady that I shop from, his name is Laura. And I'm thinking that she had something to do with the whole development of it. But anyway, look at him. Don't you want to tag just like that? Now, these tags, these chickens that I've got right here came off of a digital file I have. 
but you can you can type in go to Etsy and type in uh, chicken pictures. You'll have all kinds of chicken pictures popping up. So on the back of this, I'm gonna just glue this bag down because I won't make a pocket out of the back. You know, I'm not into too much in a traveler's notebook. It makes it too bulky, but it's possible if you had plenty of room. It's bad enough that I'm about to use some buttons because I normally don't like to do that because of bulk. So these were, I mean, these, these uh, roosters were already done. I didn't do them prior to the video. I've had them done for some time. I was stocking up on um, anything I was planning ahead for this summer. I was stocking up on decoupaging for that. Now, we will do some decoupaging in this book. I always do. But I kind of like to wait toward the end, unless it's part of a page design. I could have done this as a corner tuck, and then you could have tucked stuff back there. But again, I didn't feel like I needed to do that. You gotta make sure stuff is not gonna stick to other things, like this is wanting to stick from the bottom. Gotta get all that. Let's see. Feels like that part of it's gone. Let's make sure nothing is coming from over here. Nope, that's good as well. So we have our tag over here, and we have this tag that goes down inside them, and then we have buttons. So I thought we'd do buttons like what you would cover the, um, you know, this cover your your numbers. I'm not going to tie in these. Normally I do. This is totally against my character to do the what I'm about to do. But um, I just think I don't want anything that's going to make it any more bulky than possible. So I thought I would build on a bingo. So put that right there. So not everything will be open to There we go. If I can get it to flip over like it's supposed to. There. All right, I got to get something to clean off my fingers. So this is our last layout, which I think I timed on pretty good this time. It's unusual for me. Um, so we've got this little page, and we'll add fibers later. And we've got this little play layout. And we've got this cool flip out pocket with two tags and our library pocket at the front. So, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Come back and see me. Uh, I love it when you comment. I read every single comment and enjoy it the whole time. And I try to answer those as well. If everything is where I, you know, if it's not a day that I just can't. Uh, but mostly I do. And subscribe if you haven't subscribed. It's a good time of the year to subscribe. Spring is here. And a lot of people are off uh, as soon as spring ends and have plenty of time on their hands to watch some YouTube videos. And um, or take some downtime at night. And I want to thank all my subscribers that have just stuck it out with me from the very beginning. And so, I'll see you guys in the next video, and I'll, 
I want to remind you that we're going to be doing collaging throughout spring in between things. All right. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.